Hello everyone, it's me Chassel and I'll introduce to you the factors affecting the rate of reaction. But what is the rate of reaction first? It is the speed wherein the chemical reaction proceeds. Here we go. In real life, if you need to move a large and heavy table but your energy is not enough, it may be lifted but not moved. However, if you ask help which adds more manpower or energy, the product or reaction will be more visible. Hence, the greater the activation energy, the faster the rate of reaction is, while, if it's less than the activation energy, no reaction or physical transport will take place. To see how temperature affects the rate of reaction, let's observe in which bowl the cinnamon powder dissolves first. Is it with the cold water? Or is it with the hot water? Hot water dissolves the cinnamon powder first. This shows that as the temperature increases, the reaction rate increases too. Because collisions between atoms become faster with higher temperature, that may exceed or equal the activation energy that aids to a faster reaction. To know how concentration of reactants affect the rate of reaction, we'll make another experiment. We have here three small containers with a half teaspoon of lemon juice combined with increasing amount of baking soda. The rate of reaction increases as we also increase the amount or concentration of the reactant which is baking soda in this experiment. When citric acid from the lemon juice and carbonate base like baking soda combined, a buffer which reduces pH change is formed. Let me reveal how this works by using hot water and nor cubes equally divided in two bowls. But a one whole piece of nor cube should be put in the first bowl while shredded pieces of nor cube should be put in the second bowl. After 5 minutes. The shredded pieces dissolved faster than the whole piece. Because the smaller the pieces of a solid is, the larger the surface area, which leads to more collisions of the particles and faster reaction. Let's sum this up with our last experiment. The number one solution is consist of one teaspoon hardened coffee or solidified coffee and one fourth cup cold water. The number two solution is consist of one tablespoon coffee granules and one fourth cup hot water. Which will dissolve faster? But wait, there's more. There are still unseen and undissolved granules beneath, so stirring it will help those collide with other particles and eventually dissolve. Therefore, number two has higher rate of reaction than number one. Because of the following, 